Hi Year 2, welcome to your writing lesson. For today's lesson you will need your work pack with today's date written on it, which is Thursday the 21st of January. You'll need a pencil and then you'll need something to keep you company. So it could be a teddy bear, a doll, a photograph, anything that you think you would like to keep next to you. Press pause now and make sure you have those things. Let's get started. So for the do now today, I want you to rehearse the last part of your model text. If you do not remember it, that's okay. I've put it up on the screen on the right hand side. So press pause now and go through that. So the reason you rehearse your model text is because we're going to be looking at that section in more detail today. So you know that we're writing our letter to Julia Donaldson. Just like the model text was to Oliver Jeffers and we wanted to find out more about him, we want to find out more about Julia Donaldson. Now, I don't have her number, so we can't just call her. That means we need to be able to use questions in our writing to be able to find out more about her. So, so we have a definition for question. We're going to do some my turn, your turn. Question, a sentence that asks something. Fantastic. You have something in the room with you. You might have a teddy bear, a doll, a photograph. I only have my pen, so I'm going to tell my pen what a question is. A question is a sentence that asks something. Now you're going to press pause and do the same thing. You might feel a little silly, but that's okay because we'll do it so much we'll get used to it. Off you go. Okay, now that you're back, tell me what a question is. Fantastic. It's a sentence that asks something. The other things that you need to know about questions are they used to find out more information and they need an answer. The questions we're looking at today will need answers. So this is my turn. I just want you to listen carefully to how I decide whether this, this is a question or not. So I know that a question is a sentence that asks something. So I need to check if this is asking something. Why did you decide to become an author? I know that if I said that to someone, they would need to give me a response. So it is a question because it needs an answer. Now, let's have a look at the parts in a bit more detail. The sentences we've learned so far always start with a capital letter. Questions also start with a capital letter. Now, the difference between the sentences we've learned and questions are that they end with a question mark. Look at the screen carefully and I'll draw a question mark now. They end with a question mark because they're telling us it's a question. So to summarise, questions need to ask something, they need an answer, they need a capital letter and they need to end with a question mark. Let's have a look at the next one. This one says, who inspires you? I want you to think is it asking something? Have six seconds. Is it asking something? If you said yes, that's fantastic. It is asking something. It's asking someone who inspires you, who motivates you, who keeps you going. That means that it needs a, it needs a response or an answer. They mean the same thing. Now let's have a look at the parts more carefully. We know that questions, sentences, need to start with a capital letter, and this one has one, and they need to end with a, fantastic, they need to end with a question mark. So this is a question, starts with a capital letter, ends with a question mark, it needs an answer, and it's asking something. There's one on the screen for you to try now. This word here says releasing. Read it, decide, is it a question? How do you know? Press pause now. Okay, so let's have a look. First of all, do you think it's asking something? It is fantastic. When are you releasing your next book? Means when is your next book coming out? So it is asking something. We're happy with that. So it needs a answer. It does need an answer. Now, we know that all the sentences we write, including questions, need to start with a... So let's have a look. Does this one start with a capital letter? We need to fix that. Okay, when are you releasing your next book? Looking better? Should we move on? Oh, that's a lot of no's. Oh, I wonder what we're missing. 
missing? Can you tell me what we're missing? That's it. Thank you. It needs a question mark at the end because the question mark tells us that it is a fantastic. So if you were able to identify those mistakes, then let's keep moving forward. If you weren't, just rewind now and go through the other slides again, just so that you're really confident before you move on to your talk task. You have a talk task. You have to decide whether the sentence is a question. Here are your sentences. And if you look at the end of the sentences, they need some sort of punctuation. So they either need a full stop or they need a question mark. You have to decide which one needs to go where. I'm going to do the first one to show you exactly how I want you to do this talk task. I don't have a teddy bear, but I have my pen. And I might feel very silly doing this, but we're going to do it so much that we'll get used to it. So I'm going to pretend that my pen is talking to me. And if it says something that needs an answer, I'll know that it's a question. So it needs a question mark. Well done. Why did you wear your coat? Does it need an answer? I wore my coat because it was cold. It does need an answer. Your the pen is asking me something. It's asking me why did I wear my coat? So I know that this sentence here needs a question mark at the end. I want you to do exactly that with your teddy bear, your doll, your photograph, or if you don't have a teddy bear or doll, you can use your pencil. So press pause now and go through those and then come back with the answers. Let's go through some answers. So the next sentence is, I am happy. If you said that to whoever you have with you, would they need a, to respond? Does it need an answer? I am happy. Is it asking something? It's not. So it needs a, it needs a full stop. Let's go through the next one. When are you going to the park? Do you think it's a question or do you think it's not a question? It is a question. Can you tell me why it's a question? If you said because it's asking something, that's brilliant. So if it's asking something, it needs an, it does need an answer. What needs to go at the end of this question? A question mark. Well done. Who is your favourite person? Do we think it's a question or not? Louder. It is a question. Brilliant. So what does it need at the end? A question mark. He likes playing with his friends. Is it a question or not? It's not a question, brilliant, because it's just telling us something. It's not asking for a response and it doesn't need, need a response. He likes playing with his friends, so it needs a full stop, brilliant. It snowed in the holidays. Is that a question? Does it need an answer? It doesn't, so it needs a full stop at the end, brilliant. If you've got those, then we're ready to move on to the next task. So, you might have noticed that from your talk task, a lot of your questions started with who, when, and why. The ones that we have written in our text map also start with who, when, and why. We're going to be focusing on using those to start our questions for today. There are some other words that can start questions, but we're not looking at them. So, this is my turn. This is a picture of Oliver Jeffers. I want to ask him some questions to find out more about him. We've already got questions such as, when are you releasing your next book? Who inspires you? And why did you decide to become an author? Sorry, that took me a little longer to think of. I'm going to ask some different questions because if we ask all the same questions, then it gets quite repetitive. So I'm going to think about what questions I might want to ask him. Mm, who's that? Do you think that's a good question to ask? Who's that? If you said no, you're absolutely correct. He doesn't know who I'm referring to. If I wrote down a letter to Oliver Jefferson and said, who's that? He would have no idea what I'm talking about. So the questions need to be about him. They need to be about things he can answer. So I might think about 
we're talking about books, I might ask him who his favourite author is. So, questions start with a capital letter. Who is your favourite author? Are we happy with that question? Oh, I can hear some no's. What have I missed out? That's it. Oh, I just keep forgetting. I know that because I keep forgetting and you keep telling me when you do your work, you will not forget your question marks. So who is your favourite author? Let's think of a question that we could start with when. When. So he writes books. What could we ask him? When is your favourite time to write? That's a good question. When is your favourite time to write and it needs a question mark fantastic so i've given you two questions as an example you can magpie mine but then you'll also need to come up with some of your own here is your task for today so you are asking julia donaldson some questions to find out more about her you can then use these when you write your letter there are two pages just like yesterday this is page one this is page two you only need to do one of them so you're either going to pick page one or you're going to pick page two you do not need to do both of them here on the first page they have some sentence starters so it says who why when you just need to come up with one question for each and then one last one so you only need to ask four questions if you choose to do page one now if you want to really find out more about julia donaldson and really come up with your own questions and ask multiple questions page two is the one for you you have lots of lines and you can ask as many questions as you like then when it comes to your letter you can pick and choose your absolute favorite ones that's your task for today have lots of fun and we can't wait to see your work on Seesaw. See you all tomorrow. Bye.